back to Mark's Racing Engines, Mark and Misty's performance. And today, I'm going to show you there's a little problem with a small block Chevy uh, rear main bearing sometimes that you run into. And I'm going to show you how to address that problem or the two ways that you can address that problem. So we'll be right back. We're working on this uh, little 3 and 9 16 stroker that uh, uh, I don't know if I, I shot some other video. But I don't think I've posted anything about it. Uh, anyway, we're working on that and putting it together and there's a little misalignment in the rear, rear main bearing with the oil hole So I'm gonna show you what you do Okay guys, we're, this is where we're going to go put this main bearing in and uh, You can see or I hope you can see This and, well, I, I fixed it now, but there was a misalignment in this main bearing uh, the oil hole and Uh, you see how much I had to grind over right there. Now, there's two ways to fix this problem. I mean, it, it was literally covering, covering up half the hole. Um, and, I mean, it's, it, it's, I could open it up a little bit more, but that's fine the way it is. Uh, you can either grind the bearing out or file it out, or you can actually grind the block uh, to fix that problem. It is perfectly okay to do that. Uh, now, there's another trick that I do. You know, after after you do that, you want to make sure that you let me get in the camera here. Uh, matter of fact, let me zoom back in. After you do that, you want to make sure that you chamfer this, make sure there's no burrs on this edge or anything. Just kind of move that oil hole over a little bit in the bearing. Like I said, you can either do the bearing or you can grind the block. One or the other. Uh, you know, you could grind the block and, and taper it down. I've done that before too, millions of times. But when you get done. There's going to be, if you do the bearing, there's going to be burrs here, or if you do the block, there's going to be burrs here. Make sure that you take a round file, like so, and, you know, just kind of file that edge off, make sure there's no burrs there, uh, get all that off. Same thing here. Oops. Same thing in here. Make sure you, you know, make sure you get that little edge off right there, because uh, it can cause some problems. Now, the other trick that I do uh, on small, well, I, I do it to just about every engine, uh, but mainly small block Chevrolets, especially small block Chevrolets. They, they can have thrust problems. So, what I do is, hang on just a second. And this is an old smoky unit trick right here, uh, is to give a path of oil uh, out to the thrust. And the way you do that is, is you file a little it's hard to do with the camera right here uh, let, me, let me get over here where I can do it you file it a little bevel in the edge of this uh, you're, you're not trying to make a great big uh, bevel you just want a small little bevel like that same thing on the other side bearing is not wanting to cooperate uh, same same on the other side and then uh, then flip it around and do this side here too now, the, where the little bearing tang is it's a little more difficult um, Okay, I stopped because I need to explain a couple things. First of all, you need to do the upper shell the same way you do the lower shell, just, just like we're doing here. Second of all, uh, bearings are made eccentric. Uh, all rods and mains are made eccentric. I'll get into why in another video, but just know that they are. At the parting line, they're made, they're bigger. There's more clearance there. They're lemon shaped, if you will. So, yes, there is more oil that comes out the sides at the parting line. But Smokey Eunuch explains that the, the trough that you're making here actually directs oil, a pressurized oil, straight at the thrust. Now, I've been doing this for years, and I can tell you it really does work. It really helps a lot with uh, thrust problems. I, I don't have a whole lot of thrust problems uh, with any engine unless there's a converter issue or something that somebody's done. All right, that being said, let's carry on. 
Now, don't get crazy with this because you don't want too big of a path there because <laughs> then it can lo actually lose some oil pressure. But, I mean, there's oil hemorrhaging out the sides anyway to get on the thrust. This just kind of helps. Uh, and I don't have thrust problems with any engine. So, <laughs> now when you're done with that, make sure you go back and at an angle, not flat, but at an angle, knock that little edge off right there just make sure it's gone same thing with you did where you did it here and then right here make sure there's not a lip or like a like a burr or a lip if there is if you're brave enough or experienced enough use the file like i do if not get you a little piece of emery cloth and get that little burr off of there and that's it so once you get this done Make sure you clean the bearing real well and get your filings out. And I'm, look at this, I'm doing it right over the motor, so that's my dumb ass. No! But uh, anyway, those that's uh, those are some bearing mods, you know. I mean, if you put the bearing in there and it's misaligned, it probably won't hurt anything. I've never had any trouble when it did. But um, it's a good idea to try to get that lined up the best you can. I mean, it, like I said, this one was pretty bad. It cut half the oil. Matter of fact, hold on. I'm going to get another bearing and see if I can show you how bad this is. Okay, so here's, a, here's one that hasn't been modified. And uh, put that in there. And you can see how bad that, that bearing is, how much of that's cut off right there. Whoa, I'm going to knock the camera over. I'll zoom that in. So that's what we're that that's what we're doing to fix. You know, when when they get like that, um, this is that's how you can fix it. And there it is, modified. You can see how much better that is. And of course, the bearing's dirty. I need to clean it. But uh, so. Now, guys, I know I didn't show the mod, but I did that with the Dremel tool and a needle file. Now, if you don't do these mods, is the engine going to blow up? Are you going to have thrust problems? Uh, probably not. Maybe not. I don't know. But why not take the extra step to do these things to make sure that it's right? Uh, these little things is what, what the difference is between an engine builder and an engine assembler. Uh, little things like this go a long way to making the engine last a long time. So anyway, that's a real easy way you can fix that. Uh, like I said, I showed you how to modify the the oil path right there. So hope that helps somebody. It's just as, you know, I mean, a lot of you might know that already. A lot of you might not, but it's just a short little video to so maybe help somebody. So anyway, get out there and build something. God bless. See you around.